Okay, all the epoxies are cured. Always happy about that. What I'm doing now is I'm preparing this face for a web, a plywood web. But Dad put a doubler in here, which you can see that pointed there. So from there to the root is plywood. So there's a step down here. So I've had to make up a piece to uh, fit in over that, which I'll glue in at the same time as I glue in the web. So that fits in there. And then, got the right piece here. Oops, sorry. Oops, that fits in there, and that goes in there. So then the web can be fitted and glued in. So I've got a web then all the way along the back. This sheeting here, I'm convinced, is one and a half mil. So what I'm actually thinking of doing is getting some one and a half mil ply. And instead of sheeting over the spar cap here, or over the spar in um, balsa, I'm use one and a half mil plywood, which is not this, but it's one and a half mil plywood. My concern is, again, I'm probably over-engineering this, but you'll notice is there's not a lot of spar thickness through here which I mean the tension that the bottom spar is under tension on positive G but it's under compression on negative G and my concern is on a heavy landing because this is um, not a light model even when it was new and I reckon I'm only making it heavier but if, I, if it has a hard landing, then that will put this cap under compression and a bit worried about it fracturing here and then the time, next time it gets a bit of positive load on it, the wing fails. And what's brought that to my attention is actually I've done some research on some full size stuff where yeah, lives have been lost from exactly that. They have hard landings and the spars fail under compression on the bottom and then they put a bit of positive G on them the next couple of flights and the wing fails. So I think I'll try that. I'll put some one and a half mil plywood over here and it's on the bottom side so even if it does show up in the covering a little bit it won't be detrimental. Um, so I've just made it all in. Um, I'll overhang it like that. I'll overhang the edge there. So then, <coughs> then I can glue some, glue some balsa underneath the edge of it to give the balsa sheeting something to sip on, if that makes sense. And you'll notice I've got no music playing now because of the whole YouTube thing, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, I don't make the rules. Until next time.